In this video, I'm going to take you guys to my top food spots in Osaka. There's so many good food shops in Osaka that sometimes it's really difficult to choose. So I'm going to take you around to some of my favorites today. I'll be mainly focusing on the Dotonburi area as well as the surrounding areas. And TripSocket has been kind enough to sponsor this video, so we'll be using their AR navigation app to help us get around today. Let's get started! Number 9. Cheesecake from Rikuro Ojisa no Mise. The shop's name literally translates to Uncle Rikuro's shop, so you know it's a local Osaka specialty. And even more impressive is that you can enjoy the cheesecake straight from the oven. They make a small number of cakes from morning to night in order to serve it as fresh as possible to each customer. Wow, it's still warm. And literally, it's as big as my head. Look how fluffy this is. And it's still like moist to the touch. Oh, time to take this first bite. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh, that first bite is like tasting the lightest and fluffiest scrambled eggs you've ever had. But you can definitely taste that egg and it's just so super moist. They serve it while it's hot. There's actually two plates in this store. You can buy it outside or you can buy it inside. Now if you buy it outside, they'll have it freshly baked. Whereas if you buy it inside, then it's been sitting there for like a few hours or a day or something. So definitely buy it from the outside shop. It's quite big, so you're probably gonna wanna eat it with maybe three to four people at least. Luckily I have Maiko and she's a big eater. <laughs> Just joking. One thing about this though, it's not so cheesy. Like, you know how cheesecakes sometimes get really, really like cheese and like custardy and thick? This one tastes more like egg, which is nice. Number 8. Handmade Butaman from Futami no Butaman. Wow, oh, she just pulled it out of the box. One thing before we eat this, this shop has been around for 75 years in the same location. And it's the only location in Osaka. Probably seen my other Osaka video, I did Gogoichi, and it's the most popular because there's just so many shops and people just know about it. Whereas this one, I wanted to kind of showcase it because it's something that a lot of people don't know about and it's delicious. It's funny how this thing looks so much like a nipple. That is so luscious. Mmm, you can smell the onions. That's good. Mmm. Mmm. It's perfectly marinated. Like, you can taste that it's a little bit sweet. It has some savoriness to it. It's like a really strong, like, onion taste. The pork is just so tender. It's still juicy in here. The bun itself is really chewy. Kind of wish that there was a little bit more meat to the ratio of the bun. But aside from that, like, the meat itself, the pork itself, is really delicious. Good. You can see a lot of onions in here. Itadakimasu! I don't know why, but it's really really sticky in here. The stuffing. And I also like the onions texture. Like veggie, shaki shaki. Number 7. Black Takoyaki from Kukuru. Kukuru is one of the most popular takoyaki shop born in Osaka. And takoyaki is as basic as you can get in this area. But I'm here today to show you something that's not on the menu. What is this? This is Ikasumi. Ikasumi? Yes. It's usually a normal takoyaki. Ikasumi is a normal takoyaki. I got the secret takoyaki. The thing is, there's so much takoyaki you can get in Osaka that I wanted to share something with you guys just a little bit special. And this place has a squid ink that's not on the menu. If you're on the front street on Dotonburi, there's just a long ass line. If you go to the front and you ask them specially for the squid ink, they took me downstairs to the basement. If you look, they made it special for me here where there's no crowd. I'm right in front of the river and just a perfect setting to eat takoyaki. So takoyaki, if you guys don't know, it's a pancake ball with octopus. They've heated it up on the iron griddle and it makes these little takoyaki balls and they put some mayonnaise on top, they put special sauce, and they have bonito flakes on it. Take our first bite. Mmm, you see the taco and it's still gooey inside. That's the thing I love. Oh. It's so gooey, it just fell off. That's the one thing about this place. 
I love how gooey the takoyaki is. Even though the pancake uses squid ink, it doesn't taste like too strong of squid. So you can't really tell so much. It just tastes like a regular takoyaki. I think it's just like a novelty concept of it, but it's still pretty cool. Definitely have to have takoyaki when you come to Osaka. All right, that food was awesome, but I'm starting to run out of cash, so I need to find an ATM. I think this is a good time to use the chip socket app. Let me show you. So it's pretty easy. Open up the app, you can search for meals, drinks, Wi-Fi, toilets, and in this case, tap ATM. Hold the phone up like so, and you'll see the closest ATMs at your location. Tap the location you want to go to, and more info will pop up about the place. And you can even tap the directions button for the live map. Perfect for travelers who don't know the area very well. Alright, got the cash. Time to move on to the next food spot. Number 6. Baby Castella at Iki. Baby Castella is often found in Japanese festival food, and Iki made it into these cute treats. Check out this chocolate fondue. You can just like smell the powdered sugar in the chocolate. It's just drippy drip. That is a sweet chocolate. Mmm, that is so good. It's like a perfect donut ball, but it's not fried at all. It's more of like a cake than actually a donut. It's nice and soft and light and fluffy. I really enjoy the chocolate. The chocolate is quite sweet and thick. Very, very rich. I'm almost done with this. It's so good. Number five, curry pan. Woohoo! At Yamabiko Bakery, hidden inside of a shopping mall called Opa, there's a cute little bakery. I love the variety of the baked goods on their menu as everything looks so scrumptious, but I'm throwing down on my favorite today. Which one should I do? They all look so good. Karenishioka. Haha, uh -huh, we are in Osaka and guess what? I got some curry pond! You guys know I love my curry pond. It looks so good. It almost has like these golden bubbles on top. I don't know if you guys could see that. Alright, let's open this bad boy up. Look at that goodness. Look how much curry is in there. There's just so much meat. I love it. There's some onion in there and it's like there's like big chunks of meat in here. Yes, yes, and yes. Wow. That is a meaty curry pond and there is a spicy kick to it. Like I'm feeling it in the back of my throat. So I feel like they've used a lot of spices in this one. There's a lot of seasoning in this. It's not just like bland. There's a lot of like flavor. And the bread is nice and crunchy. It looked like it was warm, but it's actually not that warm. But it's really, really good. What a lovely surprise for midday snacking. Number four. Takosen at Kogaryu. Kogaryu is a popular takoyaki shop known to be the first shop to use mayonnaise on their takoyaki. But in this video, I'm featuring their uniquely created takosen. It's takoyaki at a taco shell. Actually, it's not really a taco shell. It looks like a taco shell, but this is actually sembe. It has taco, cheese, mayonnaise. You have three takoyaki in this like sembe taco shell. I believe it's like a cheddar cheese in there. Look at that. Let's take the first bite. Wow. I somehow found a way to make takoyaki even more junky. American kind of like nacho cheese junky flavor to the takoyaki itself which I kind of like. It's a good texture all around. You get the hard crunchy shell outside and then like the gooey takoyaki which is amazing. It's so good. You know the takoyaki inside of this sembe? It's like super gooey type, like pretty close to kukuru but like even softer. Takoyaki is that's why this is good. Alright, so let's put this app to the test and see if there's any restaurants around here that we can go eat. It's cool that you can even filter tags, like if credit cards are accepted at the restaurant. Alright, looks like it has some stuff. This place looks like it's ranked number 3. So I tapped on this restaurant. It shows additional information about the shop. Let's try some katsudon. Wow, check out this red alley. A large part of these street food videos is always trying to venture out and check out new places. This place is amazing. Look at all these red lanterns. It's so cool. I think we're getting closer. Number three, Katsudon at Katsudon. Katsudon? Katsudon. 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 Katsud
はい、奥までどうぞ。ありがとうございます。What I love about this place is it feels so retro. The place is amazing and they have all different variations. The most popular one is having the kotsudon with the egg and like kind of like a stew. They also have a dry version with like different sauces and curries and whatnot. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that. Just dripping. It's so wet. This is so good. The stew itself, the broth is in, it's really nice. It's like the katsu has been marinated perfectly. I love the egg, it gives it like that gooey texture. Definitely, it's only 750 yen. It's such a deal. I love how we like, when we came here, we came through the alley. It's like no one knows about a place like this. The meat itself is like super soft and tender. It's usually the katsu is really crispy, but because it's been in the, the marinated stew, it's a kind of like a little bit soggy, which is nice because it like soaks up all of the juices. What an amazing meal. Mm. So go through the stuff of this. Wow, oh, that was amazing. Thanks to Trip Socket. Number two, Okonomiyaki at Mizuno. A Michelin star Okonomiyaki shop that's worth the wait. This place is always so busy. There's always a long line in front. So if you want to come here, then be prepared to wait. We're just like in between lunch and dinner. So we got like at a good time so we didn't have to wait longer than maybe a few minutes. Well, we still had to wait like 10 minutes. Anyways, what I love about this place is they make the food in front of you. So. We order the most popular menu, Yamaimo Yaki and Mizuno Yaki. Mizuno Yaki is Okonomiyaki, and Yamaimo Yaki uses sticky yam in its base instead of flour, which creates an amazing light and fluffy texture. Looks like the Yamaimo Yaki is ready! Oh, by the way, you can ask the staff if you want more sauce, because for me, it's never too much sauce! Huge piece of pork right there. Look at that Ika! This is the Yamaimo Yaki. And it has ika, you can see there, and you got the pork, and the reason why they call it yamaimo yaki is because they use a sticky yam. Udon bowls, they have the, they call it tororo, it's like this white, um, frothy piece of, like, it looks like beer foam almost. They use that in this. Mmm, the ginger is actually quite strong this, but it's so delicious. Such a gooey texture with all those like ingredients, the cabbage, the meat, and then it just to top it off, they have the mayonnaise. This one is the flour-based okonomiyaki. You order the mixed version, so it has all sorts of ingredients. If you look, it has some pork, it has some squid, it has oysters in there. Freaking crazy oysters, right? It's delicious. Wow, this one is nice because like you can get like a sense of the seafood that tastes all over. I feel like there's a lot more seafood in this one. Oh wow, look! Shrimp! I have like meat and seafood all mixed in one. Wow, that was amazing! But check it out, look at the line behind me! Alright, that was awesome, but now I gotta go pee. Alright, so we open up trip socket, we hit toilet, and let's see... 102 meters. Oh look, 22 meters, perfect. Let's go there. Easy as going to the restroom. And number one, Kobe beef sushi at Steak Sakura. Kobe beef sushi on the street. There's a restaurant here, but they have these tables outside and you can order it. And what's nice is that each one, it's only 800 yen only. <laughs> That's kind of expensive, but think about it. Where else can you do like one piece of Kobe beef sushi on the street? It's freaking amazing. I love Osaka. They have wasabi on there. It's slightly kissed with a torch. And you can see that it's not fully cooked. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you can see like the fatty bits are still around. Oh, yeah. All right, put it all in my mouth. Wow, what a joyous explosion in my mouth. That was so good. Man, you can definitely taste how tender the meat is. The meat is still marbled. I was expecting like a stronger taste of the wasabi, but it wasn't too bad. Like the sauce itself, I just didn't even taste because the meat was so good at this time. I was too busy enjoying the Kobe beef. Oh, wow, I actually, <laughs> there's another one. <laughs> I'll eat it. I want to eat it. I'll eat it. Oh, that looks good. I wonder what this, 
It's thick. Mm, so it's salt, I think. It's like a really like a tolomi no aru shoyu. Oh, and I think it's salted a little bit. Take mas. It's salted perfectly and like a lot of sushi, like niku sushi. It's also way too oily to me, but this is not too oily. It's just perfect and I want to have another one. I want to have another one. <laughs> All right, so that concludes my top food spots in Osaka. Thanks again to TripSocket for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in downloading the app, I'll leave all the information in the description of this video. As you can see, the app is an easy way to find toilets, restaurants, Wi-Fi, and so much more. Currently, the app only works in southern Osaka, but they should be expanding to more areas soon. Oh, and I've been posting a lot of stories on my Instagram, so if you guys want to see what I'm doing before I upload these videos, then definitely check out my Instagram. And finally, if you want to see more of my guides in Tokyo or throughout Japan like Osaka, I upload a video every Saturday morning Japan time. So hit that subscribe button and the bell button. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.